This is a phenomenal story. I'm really excited about this. If you listen to The Morning Show with Anthony, we have a segment called Brews and Grooves where we pair a beer with a song, a craft beer with a song. Uh, I've been really big into the craft beer uh, movement for quite some time now. And I've moved into the craft cocktail movement. There's plenty of great ones. We have a potato a vodka here on Long Island. We got tons of cool stuff. Now, Bob Dylan after years and years of releasing his bootleg series, is now going to become a bootlegger of his uh, of uh, a bootlegger himself. It was just announced that Bob Dylan is going to have a series of whiskeys. A series of whiskeys. Stories at WEHM.com. Uh, it really broke in the New York Times over the weekend. I am fascinated by this. Let's be honest. When you think Bob Dylan, do you not think, like, American whiskey? Like... I couldn't think of a more perfect... I want to drink this right away. The second I heard Bob Dylan whiskey, I was like, put me down for that. That is exactly... Like, if I'm a marketer, like, that is exactly the kind of guy I want selling my uh, my whiskey. I mean, I'd prefer somebody who's easily, you know, easier to understand. <laughs> Here you go. You want to drink my whiskey? What? Drink the whiskey. Oh, no. Forget the... <laughs> Forget the TV commercial. Let's just go with stills. We'll just take photos. We'll just take photos. By the way, the photo, the promo photo for, I mean, it's Bob sitting at a bar with his whiskey and a pool table in the back. And maybe I'm just an Uber Bob Dylan fan. I don't know. But I immediately just, I just want to be there. I just want to be there sipping whiskey with Bob Dylan. Maybe that's the appeal. Maybe the marketing is already working on me. It hasn't even already started. But the idea of sitting down uh, with some whiskey and some Bob Dylan uh, is endlessly exciting for me. Uh, it sounds really amazing. So what happened was a trademark application for the term bootleg whiskey was filed under Dylan's name. And this guy, Mark Bouchala, who just sold a brand of bourbon called Angel's Envy for $150 million. He's a liquor entrepreneur saw that and became obsessed with the idea of what a Bob Dylan whiskey could be. So he reached out to Dylan's representatives, and um, after a couple of weeks, they finally got back to him, and they looked into him, and they decided to uh, put the two of them in touch. And now next month, uh, Bouchala and Dylan will introduce Heaven's Door, a collection of three whiskeys, a straight rye, a straight bourbon, and a double-barreled whiskey. They are Mr. Dylan's entry into the booming celebrity branded spirits market, the latest career twist for an artist who has spent five decades confounding expectations. Dylan is not simply licensing his name. He is a full partner in the business. Heaven's Door Spirits, which Mr. Bouchala said had raised $35 million from investors, uh, is a full on collaboration. Uh, Dylan said in a statement to the New York Times, quote, we both wanted to create a collection of American whiskeys that in their own way tell a story. I've been traveling for decades and I've been able to try some of the best spirits that the world of whiskey has to offer. This is a great whiskey, he said. I'm often reminded about G.E. Smith, you know, here in studio talking about his time playing with Dylan and saying that he was always touring, always on the bus that they were doing a tour one time and something they had gone on break. It was Christmas break and Dylan calls GE and GE's like, what's up? And Dylan's like, what are you doing? And GE's like, I'm home with my family. It's Christmas time. And he's like, what are you doing, Bob? And Bob's like, I'm on the bus, man. <laughs> he just stayed on the tour bus, just driving around. I think, and I'm making this part up and adding to the story, just drinking whiskey. I think he was just driving around trying to get his whiskey business going. Uh, it's a good time to be a uh, celebrity endorsed uh, cocktail or spirit. George Clooney just sold his Casamigos tequila for one. Is that really true? One a billion dollars? Remind me to hit up George for a loan. One billion dollars to Diageo. Unbelievable. Uh, Heaven's Door is meant to conjure up the broader idea of Mr. Dylan that is part Renaissance man, part Nighthawk. The label design is derived from his ironwork sculptures with the rural rural icon iconography, crow's wagon wheels, uh, all in silhouette. 
we got a picture of it there in studio. You can kind of see it. It's pretty cool looking. Um, Dylan has these qualities that actually work well for a whiskey. Mr. Bouchala said he has great authenticity. He is quintessential American. He does things the way he wants to do them. I think these are good attributes for a super premium whiskey. No word yet on whether or not Bob Dylan is going to release a companion album for the whiskey, but I absolutely think he should. I think that would be amazing. You change the words around to your classic songs to make it work. You know? Once upon a time, it drinks so fine. Do the of time in your <laughs> then you... I just think it could work. I think not only like a Rolling Stone would work, there's a couple of other ones that would be nice. Is in my bourbon. Is in my bourbon. Heaven's door whiskey. Drink my whiskey. Bob Dylan. Yeah. Heading out for these cars. No knows you pay some dues. Getting through. Tangled up in booze. I'm just saying, these are just some suggestions that could work. Not like I'm an expert marketer, but uh, don't sit there and tell me you don't want to hear the rest of the lyrics to Tangled Up in Booze, because I know you do. I know you do. <laughs> I drag my whiskey and now I'm on the floor. <laughs> Sip, sip, sipping on Heaven's Door Whiskey. That's the thing. That's what it's going to be called. Heaven's uh, Heaven's Door Whiskey, right? That's the title, I think. Yeah, Heaven's Door Whiskey. All right. We don't have any more. We don't have any more uh, Bob Dylan whiskey lyrics. There we go. There we go. May you stay forever drunk. Not like we put any time into this. I'm just saying a couple of a soundtrack might help the whiskey sales just a little bit. Just a little bit. Hey, Mr. Bartender Man, pour a bourbon for me. I'm not sleepy, and there is no place <laughs> I'm going to. All right. Pain. I'm just saying there's a couple of things that could help. You're the reason I'm a traveling on. But don't think Please twice. drink more. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Please drink twice. It's ladies night. There we go. That was it. I messed it up. All right. Anyway. Um, there's a uh, lot of potential in this. I think it's going to be a big success. Um, I think that, uh, there's a craze for craft cocktails right about now, cocktails. And uh, I think, oh, oh, Dylan whiskey is killer. Uh, this was a funny part of the story though. Mr. Bouchala and Ryan Perry, another partner struggled to interpret some of Mr. Dylan's wishes saying that communications were a challenge. Often they came in the form of enigmatic comments or simple glances. <laughs> Mr. Bouchala said with a laugh, sometimes you just get a long look and you're not sure if that's disgust or approval. <laughs> I could just imagine what was Bob feeling on that one? I don't know. I have no idea. He and Mr. Perry recall Mr. Dillon's tasting a sample of the double barreled whiskey saying something was missing. He said, quote, it should feel like being in a wood structure. <laughs> uh, it should feel like being in a wood structure. What does that mean? I said wood structure. Now get out of the way. Got to get back on the bus. Uh, they struggled to decode the remark. What kind of wood structure they thought? A church, a railroad car, a barn? That led to Mr. Bouchala and Mr. Perry's first probing discussion about the nose, the liquor's aroma in the glass, and then to experiments on how they toasted the barrels in which the whiskey was aged. Months later, the men returned with a sample that felt embodied, that sweet, musty smell of a barn, Mr. Bouchala said, and presented it to Mr. Dillon, who commented approvingly. <laughs> I wonder what he said. 
I picture Dylan walking in the room, taking a sip and going, yep. And then walking out, just turning around and walking out. That's how I picture Dylan doing that. That's what I think. All right. So Dylan's whiskey and companion album. If, if he wants to partner with me to write some lyrics, I'll help him out there. Lord knows Mr. Dylan needs help with lyrics. Uh, coming in the next month, Heaven's Door Whiskey. We'll throw links up for you.